Hi all, this is I Learn Code here. This is my first video of my multi-part guide of how to learn VB.net with no experience at all. At the end of this video, all these video guides, you'll be able to build an e-commerce web solution as well as de desktop applications and many other items. All the tutorials are based in Visual Studio Professional 2012. However, if you have the free edition, the express edition, I'm going to need you to open up the web version for me now. Once open, if we can click File, New Project. Now we're not going to just create a project, we're going to create a solution. On the left hand side, if you go to other project types, Visual Studio Solutions, Blank Solutions, with a name of Web Solution. This is just so we can create multi project solutions. At the moment, you see we have zero projects in here. I'm going to need you to add a project for me. Don't click new project. If we go down to add new project, we want a console application. If we rename this VB console application and click OK. This is going to add the console application to our solution on the right hand side. Immediately it creates a module called module1.vb. If we go ahead and create a new class by right clicking on a VB console application, add class. We can see we've got the VB class here. If we leave this as class1.vb, that's absolutely fine. And click add. Now if we go ahead and take our first steps in learning code, we want to make this the main process. So if we go and type shared sub main open bracket close brackets, this just means it passes no arguments. Hit enter and it'll end the method here. Within the open method and close method, shared sub and end sub, in the middle, if we type console.write line, this basically calls the console and writes a line to it. Open brackets quote VB application. Now you can go ahead and write anything you want between the two quote marks. This is what's going to appear in the console. Now this isn't actually going to run this. It's going to run module 1. To change that, if we go onto my project, double click it, you'll see the settings for the VB console application. If we set the startup object to the class we've just created, class 1, and then click the start button at the top. Now the command window opened up very quickly and then closed again. Now the reason for this is that we didn't have a console dot read key. This allows the console window to stay open once the process has been completed. So if we now click start, it's going to run a command that's going to write out VB application to our console. And close that. It's going to stop debugging. If we quickly change that to this is where the text goes. Click start again for me. And you can see this has changed. This is where the text goes. That's the first steps in this VB tutorial. Next, we're, next what we're going to do is create a new project, create a class, and add some fields and properties.